And as you know, there is a single cup of coffee over 1,000 chemicals. And many of those chemicals are carcinogenic routes. Look at all these chemicals here. These things kill people. So what you have to know is that even within one cup of coffee, there's more chemical toxins, carcinogens, than you would get in a single year of fruit and vegetable pesticide residues. And that's not even counting all the pesticide residues that are on the coffee beans. On top of that, coffee leads to cancer, liver, kidney disease, heart disease. It leads to depression. It leads to higher stress and anxiety. Look at me. I had coffee today. I'm already very stressed. It leads to caffeine addiction and insomnia. And what else? When you have a coffee, what do you have? You have a donut. It leads to obesity. When you have a coffee, what else do you have? You have a cigarette. It leads to smoking. Coffee can kill you. Go to this website here, and they'll tell you how many cups of coffee you can drink in a day before you die. In the state of California, Proposition 65 says that coffee is a carcinogen. We know that because the International Agency for Research on Cancer said that coffee gives you cancer. It has acrylamide. Acrylamide gives you cancer. This is stuff, if you think decaf is better, forget it. The chemical used in, uh, to make coffee decaffeinated is the same chemical used in the dry cleaning process. Do you want to drink dry cleaning fluid? I don't think so. So at the, at the Coffee Action uh, Committee, we have now the Kick Coffee Campaign because we know that we've got to ban coffee. Men, if you drink three cups of coffee a day, University of Surrey study in 2006 shows that it increases your risk of sterility by 50%. Now, ladies, it's even worse for you. Because essentially, when you get pregnant, the doctors, what do the doctors tell you? They don't tell you to stop drinking alcohol. They tell you to stop drinking coffee. Because coffee will increase your risk of miscarriage in the first semester by an enormous amount. What's even worse when we look at coffee? These developing country economies are being destroyed by coffee. What happens? Tropical rainforests are being cut down. Essential water tables are being destroyed. The indigenous ways of life of people are being destroyed. I went to these places and I saw what was happening. And I went to meet a person. And he couldn't even shake my hand because his fingers were deformed. The time from a child, from the time he was a child, he was picking coffee beans. And he couldn't change, he couldn't open his hands anymore. We talk about fair trade coffee. There's no such thing as fair trade coffee. Forget it. We have a coffee slave trade. We have to ban coffee now. On top of that, we have this big business lies, environmental destruction. There's a conspiracy of big businesses out there. They're feeding these children mocha flavored snacks to get them addicted to coffee from an early age. But despite all of the rich, terrible capitalist uh, uh, companies telling you all of these lies, we at the Coffee Action Committee at the Kick Coffee Campaign did some tests. We tested the blood of people drinking coffee. And we can tell you the scientific truth now. If you look here, we did blood tests. And we found this level of chemicals in blood of coffee drinkers. These are not natural things in the blood. These are chemicals that are poisoning us. This is certified by a UK lab. I can tell you right now that these coffee toxins are in our bodies. Look at these chemicals here. These chemicals are killing us. They're killing us. They're killing coffee. We've got to do something to ban coffee now. If we don't ban coffee now, think of what's going to happen. Think of the children. Think of, th think of what you can do just with the price of a cup of coffee a day. You can con if you just contribute a price of one cup of coffee a day to the Kick Coffee campaign, you could save the children. Thank you. <laughs> Hi, Ling. Hi. How are you doing? OK, I'm fine. Do you think anyone understood what I just said? I think so. OK, perhaps you can help me now. We can just go through the rest of our presentation sure. together and sort of tie in English So uh, is it time for coffee now? Not yet. I think first we have to talk a little bit about what, what's happening. Um, what I did there was a typical NGO campaign. And as I'm losing my voice here, sorry. Uh, but the, the campaigns are meant to create fear. Fear of chemicals, 
fear of cancer. Cancer, of course, is our big fear today. Um, of risks to babies, small children. ค่ะ NGO หรือว่าองค์กรไม่สแสวงกําไรเนี่ยที่เขาค่อนข้างจะต่อต้านเรื่องเรื่องการดื่มกาแฟนะคะเขาจะสร้างแคมเปญหรือว่าการรณรงค์มากมายไม่ว่าจะเป็นการสร้างความกลัวให้คนให้คนที่เสพสื่อนะคะการการปฏิรูปการออกไปประท้วงหรือว่าการพรีเซนต์ข้อมูลความจริงเกี่ยวกับว่ากาแฟจริงๆเนี่ยมันไม่ดียังไงค่ะ And a typical NGO campaign will create also an outrage outrage of industry outrage about exploitation For example, fair trade problems, and also um, outrage about what's happening to the environment. You did that one already. <laughs> okay. Yes. Okay. Um, <clears throat> and we also see that the typical NGO campaign will try to present scientific data. We tested this in a university in a lab, and these are our numbers. โอเคก็จะมีการพรีเซนต์นะคะในเรื่องของข้อมูลในเรื่องของวิทยาศาสตร์ด้วยว่าจริงๆแล้วกาแฟเนี่ยค่ะไม่ดีต่อสุขภาพเราอย่างไง Now the other thing as well as NGO campaigns will try to give you a simple solution ban coffee ban this ban that problem solved and of course they tie their funding to this better way every campaign seems to follow the same model ค่ะหรือ NGO อาจจะออกมาบอกเลยว่าเลิกดื่มกาแฟดีกว่าหรือว่าหาโซลูชันต่างๆนะคะที่ค่อนข้างจะตรงไปตรงมาในการให้พยายามรณรงค์ให้เราเลิกดื่มกาแฟค่ะหรือว่าการหาฟันดิ้งหรือการหาเงินมามาสปอร์ตเพื่อการโปรโมทให้คนเนี่ยเลิกดื่มกาแฟ But here's a question Why has there been no campaign against coffee Why has there been no campaign to ban this This has also been proven by IARC to be a carcinogen. Why haven't we banned phones, or coffee, or cars? แต่สุดท้ายแล้วทำไมอันนี้เป็นคำถามค่ะว่าทำไมเราถึงแบนกาแฟไม่ได้จริงๆสถี Is it the obvious benefits that I get from a cup of coffee? มันมีประโยชน์อะไรหรือเปล่าคะเราถึงแบนมันไม่ได้ค่ะ Does coffee get people excited? I love my coffee. หรือว่าทำให้เราแบบตื่นเต้นตื่นตัวได้เวลาเราดื่มกาแฟ Is coffee too commonplace? Everybody drinks it. Couldn't possibly ban something everyone drinks. You have a coffee, sir. I see that. หรือทุกคนดื่มนะคะเราก็เลยดื่มกันค่ะ Couldn't wait for the coffee break, could you? Is it that there's no opportunity for alternatives? Maybe the tea industry should run a campaign. หรือว่ามันไม่มี choice อื่นในการที่ให้เราเลือกดื่ม Will the kick coffee campaign Not get any donors. Will there be nobody donating to ban coffee? หรือว่าไม่มีผู้บริจาคนะคะในการให้ NGO เหล่านี้เนี่ยพยายามออกมารณรงค์ได้ว่าเราควรเลิกดื่มกาแฟค่ะ There seems to be no fear-based story. Can we come up with some evil story about coffee that will get people excited? หรือเราไม่เคยได้ยินว่าจริงๆแล้วเนี่ยกาแฟเนี่ยมันมีอะไรที่ไม่ดีในตัวมัน So what does this tell us? About campaigns against pesticides. Ah, เรื่องนี้ก็คือสุดท้ายแล้วเนี่ยมันบอกอะไรกับเรานะคะในเรื่องว่าเราเนี่ยจะหลีกเลี่ยงการดื่มกาแฟได้ยังไง It comes down to one simple word, trust. 